Anthony and Dewey are two fun-loving, enthusiastic actors from New Zealand who love music and who <laughs> love to perform. And this is Dewey. We're from, from New Zealand. <laughs> Sharon is going to show Anthony and Dewey the musical side of Taiwan, from the haka singing to the modern saxophone to traditional moon guitar. This trip is going to be music to their ears. <laughs> it's been an amazing journey here, and um, we can't ask for anything better than this. Something cool! <laughs> Life-changing experience to understand. Everything's just unforgettable. Thank you, thank you, Tony. Whoa, whoa. full of diversity. When you walk on the streets, you hear all sorts of accents, intonations, dialects, or even languages. And why do I bring this up? Because that nurtured the music here we have in Taiwan. To set off on our journey, I brought Tiwi and Anthony to Miao Li to have a glimpse at how the Hakka people used the mountain songs to communicate with each other. It's like um, they're asking you, have you eaten in Hakka language? So you said, He prepared some Hakka cuisine for us, and we're gonna enjoy it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Voila! This is a very traditional Hakka cuisine. This is the Jiangsi Dachang. Ginger and uh, intestines. Don't be afraid. Nah. Good. <laughs> just do it. Just do it. <laughs> Bubble yeah. gum. Bubble gum. Mmm. It's not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. Good. Very good. Very good. And you see, there are pickles inside. Mm. Now, next one, we move on to. Mengan Kou Rou. It's a pork with uh, yen cai. It's also a pickled vegetable here. No. And then this is a. Uh, uh, you can see how like Hakka people eat a lot of pickles. Uh,这个地方呢,就是我们一般客家人住的老家。所以看到这边我就想到我自己的老家. Uh, yeah. Many uh, childhood memory here. Uh,我们接下来来唱一些歌吧。Absolutely. Okay. Okay. It's playtime. Awesome. Let's play around. Let's do something. I think my father sing the Hakka folk song, traditional folk song. Maybe I will sing. Three words. Three words. Three words. Three words. The voice that's been heard from like for like many years now, and how it's been like the music itself has been continued through generations, like passed down from father to son. It was so um, powerful just hearing like his voice. You can still hear like a little, like he's struggling, but he's singing from his heart. You know, he's singing like he means it, and he's telling us a story through just. I mean, we we didn't understand it, but just from the tone and the tune and the melody of it, we could just. Feel it, you know. We, we just sat there quiet and just so in tune, like we're just like, you know, it was, it was just amazing. I, I create a new Hakka song, but yeah. many tra traditional Hakka song I learned from my father. Father, oh. yeah. So it passes down. Yeah. I could just say it was a very soul-to-soul -soul connection that, that we pretty much really found each other into that improvisation artwork. And um, the way he just played his guitar and sang and stuff, it was, it was not only beautiful, but it was, it was really real. That was so melodic. Uh, I really, really could feel a naturous sound of um, whispers and birds and trees. And so that, that for me, that really, that really hit me hard. And yeah, he really did bring a lot of energy, just really, um, Keeping, keeping, keeping that, that beat and that rhythm 
Oh, I'll never forget ever until the day I come back here and have more. <laughs> I know they look full of energy right now, but this is actually how they looked after 10 plus something hours of flight from New Zealand. Hi, uh, my name is Anthony. And I'm Tui. Yes. And um, uh, we finally arrived here. We finally arrived here. When I first stood off the plane, I just realized that we aren't in New Zealand anymore. We're in Taiwan. Um, yeah, the grounding was definitely new for me because mm. back at home, it's more off the ground of the land in New Zealand that we have. It's the grass, it's just the mountains. And, but um, once we landed, it was just like, you know, on soil rock, you know, it was just the lights especially. Yeah, everything was just amazing. Um, mm. You know, I just didn't know what to expect. And so when we landed here, I was just like, wow. Everywhere, everywhere. This is actually something very special. And um, this is lit. <laughs> this is an adventurous place, and uh, mm. this, it feels so many things that we have on the list. We'll probably be here for you. Let's go. All right. Very funny. That's you. Hello. 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 Yeah, actually, we're really embracing the nature here, the people and the culture especially. Well, we're really, really excited to have you here. And for this trip in Taiwan, we are giving you an allowance of 100,000 NT. Mm -hmm. And this is for you to spend however you would like. And for this trip, Sharon is going to be accompanying you. Now, if you're curious, yep. the theme of your trip is... Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Hit us, <laughs> hit us. Hit with the best shot. You see, like, we just heard it. I think we, we're, we're gonna, just going to join in. We're going to join in. You want to join in? Yeah, Absolutely. that was cool. That was awesome. We just joined in. We, we heard it and we're yeah. like, I feel you. I'm a beatboxer and I listen to so many music. I'm very similar. I have no favorite genre of music. I love everything, even from different countries. I just love that. That's probably something we could bring as well on this journey here. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah. That was cool. That was awesome. 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 Oh, how, how do you say it? Chi Chi? That was awesome. Chi Chi. Chi Chi. Chi Chi. Chi Chi. Obviously, it is music. I know both of you mm. love music, love performance. Absolutely. And so Sharon is going to take you around Taiwan cool. and explore the different music and culture yes. of Taiwan. Yes. So, awesome. get his face. I know, I know. He's excited. I like that. <laughs> we only have one small mission for you, and that is to go to a city down south called Tainan. It's a very traditional city. Cool. And we want you to Perform. work as street performers. Cool. Yo, <laughs> let's do it. Let's go. And everybody? Let's make some music! Woo! Let's go! Yeah, as fun as, fun as we can. Mm. Um, take this as an opportunity as a, yeah, a musical journey for sure. Mm. Yeah, I mean, if it's like percussion, making percussion beat of our, our bodies, our, you know, stuff like that. That's what we're going to do. Anywhere we go, we're going to create something. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> to the next city I personally like a lot. You know how some places just never sleeps? Sleepless in Taizong, sleepless in Seattle. Anyone know the film? Um, National Taizong Theater is one of the most up-to-date performance venues. If you don't have any plans this weekend, why don't you go take a look and enjoy some art pieces? Also, you know how some places just have the vibe to draw people around? Taichung is the first city in Asia that held a jazz festival. And you can definitely count on me on this one. I swung to the music so bad. So if you look around, you can feel that. Anything so... That's awesome. This, um, I'm going to... It's a daring. It's a daring city. Daring city. So I'm going to take you to this. Um, there was a Taiwanese who self-taught himself in making a Western instrument. Okay. Let's take a look. Let's go. All right, it's now or never, guys. Wow. This is beautiful. Hello. 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 
Oh, 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 oh. And he is the grandson of where the the founder, um, Zhang Liancang Lao. You are Zhang Liancang Lao's son, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Why why should the saxophone and the noise should the oh, this is foreign instrument. Ah, should the Holy and the 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 啊，你的这个咧，萨斯哦，阿公是一个画家，已经是七十几年啦。嗯。伊当初咧研究这个家己哦，就是吼，火烧厝，啊，火烧厝，规家都拢烧到拢暖暖暖。啊啊啊！讲实，伊讲啊，这火无都无好啊，我同你讨顿下，讨顿下，只安尼研究到两三单哦，啊，才讨一支一支萨斯出来。有够济。啊，伊即嘛吼，即嘛咱这个萨斯吼，就是随着咱这个国外的文化这个时代，感觉讲哇，咱美林台湾是一个很好的萨斯。Wow, I wonder how long this has been for. I mean, wow, so she's been making music since then and up to now has has music still still lives with us today. And so my first impression was history. So big ups to you, John, wherever you may be. So. Is this your first time touching it? Yep. Whoa. Much. I think he he just like saxophone. Saxophone is a very romantic, very beautiful instrument. Will you marry me? It's just amazing, and I got to touch one. Was it a dream come true? I want to see you play. I want to try it. I'd like to. Also, is your very cheap one. Oh, I can't think of any like that. I want to just to see see one. Okay, he will teach us later. Oh, lovely. Okay. Time to learn something. Time to learn something, bro. This is my baby. This is our one. This is our one. 我们知道吹这个吹萨克斯风应该不简单，对不对？你们有什么技巧？是大部分就是人家最需要就是气的稳定。One, two, three. 还不错。Breathe so quick. 哈哈哈哈哈哈。The struggle was real. That's what I could say. Um, <laughs> uh, but it was it was worth the challenge. My first sounded like um, dogs crying. It sounded real terrible, but it was actually really hard. Like I thought you could go into it and just. <laughs> but you actually have to use like your, your diaphragm and you know produce. Um, the wind from like inside. It was actually difficult and it was actually hard, but like I loved it, like every bit of it. One, two, three. But now that I've played it like a little bit, it makes me like I want to keep going. You know, I don't want to stop. I want to keep going. <laughs> that was decent. <laughs> that, was <a> <laughs> that was decent. <laughs> well, leave it. Yeah, we'll leave it to the professionals, eh? Hey? Professionals, Come. guys. And there they are. <laughs> Does bring about for me um, and for for many movies um, that I've watched. Yeah, I actually really really loved it. It was it's beautiful. I closed my eyes at one point um, during the performance, and it's like I could feel like every bit of it. Even my fingers were like acting as if I knew the song itself. Beautiful. And I was just like I was so in tune, and like I felt connected in this song, which I believe is like a traditional song in Taiwan. Well, you don't say no to beer, do you? And just thinking of how much calories were burned spending time with my tokos and we wanted a good night out, you don't really need any reason for that. So this place where we can have really decent beer suited our needs. And as for what happened that night, you wouldn't want to know. Our beer is all from Taiwan. We have 32 beers. You can choose from us. There's a special event. 从一号喝到三十二号。So like the beer here, they're all brewed in like in Taiwan, and there are thirty-two of them. So 
there's like a challenge. Oh, really? If we can drink it all up, and then we'll be on the... The Wall of Fame, then? Yeah? Wall of Fame. And do you want to leave your fame in Taichung? I'm in it. Okay. I'm in it. I'm in it. I'm in it. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Three to one game. Oh, yes, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, we're not ready to drink unless you are watching. Yeah. And um, I guess... We'll cheers to the ele elegant beginning, and what happens in the end, we'll see. There you go. Mm -hmm. I'll see you still. Let's do it. Thank you, yeah. We need some time I remember how we had to wake up at five the next morning. It was definitely a torture. But what lay ahead of us kept our spirits high. And are you ready for our three-man expedition? But just for reminders, you might want to turn the volume down a bit for now because it's gonna be really loud. Here we are. Oh. All right, guys. We are quite here yet, but not quite. Wow. Does it sound weird to you? Kind of. Okay, so actually, um, I have uh, arranged for you a very like a secret trip for you, but that because you know I I know like in New Zealand you have like majestic landscapes yes. and stuff. For yeah. if I think of New Zealand yeah. and Taiwan, we also have that too. But it takes a little trip to see that. And but before Sorry. that, I have to show you a video. Cool. It's from Janet. Well, hey, Janet again. Yes. Hey, Anthony. Hey, Tui. I know you Kiwis are famous for inventing all sorts of crazy adventure sports. So I think this next activity is right up your alley. When I first started filming Fun Taiwan, it was just me and my trusty old Jeep traveling around the island. And now I'm about to pass over the keys to you guys. Have fun, but please try not to flip the car, okay? Yeah! Yeah! Cool. Look at that Jeep. Yeah. It's a nice Jeep. Oh, we're gonna go through a river, like river tracking with the with the jeep. Yo, let's do it. A rugged road. Woo! Awesome! Yes. Woo! Let's do it! Um, yes, I've uh, ridden in a Jeep before, in the boot. Um, as funny as it sounds, but I'm being serious, I've ridden in the boot. Hands up, you play my song, you know we're gonna be okay. Okay? Yeah! yeah. 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 It's a party in the Taiwan. Okay. <laughs> wow, definitely, yeah, definitely the mountains and uh, just the whole, the trees and the rocks and, and just the whole adventurous portrait atmosphere itself. It really did, you know, glow a bug for me, and I was like, wow, like, this is something where I could use a drone to come down and, you know, elevate from this way and then come across the other side and then, before you know what the sword is already going, and everything like that, so, it was awesome. <laughs> wow! Ah! Struggling because we're here. Here we in. are, in the trenches here, in Taiwan. Look at this, you can lift this yes, muscle, this. No, you can lift this muscle, what's that? You can The terrain, you know, it's, it's difficult, which makes it more adventurous. Uh, it's not just flat where you can just simply run. You, you'd see struggle, you'd see emotions, you'd feel nature, and you know, it's like it's like eye catching. The beauty of it all, even just the, the smell and the freshness, and how that fog chased us pretty much the whole. It was pretty scary. <laughs> it was pretty creepy. His tires aren't like. Is really it stuck ugly. in there? Oh. His tires need more um, tread in it. So um, we decided to give a helping hand, and um, that was fun. 
This is my first time pushing a car out of the mud. Oh my God. I have not done that in my life, so I'm glad to say, thumbs up, I've made history. He said, he said we might just have to leave it here right now because okay. I don't think he's going to make it. This is, beast, this is the result of helping, but uh, exactly. we, we tried our best. Got a bit of some mud here on my boots here. <laughs> I'm clean, but, but clean. I, I gave it my best. Unfortunately, we didn't come away with the win, but, um, <laughs> but we gave it our best effort and all credit goes out to the boys today. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, as we're driving through the, the bushes, this tiger's coming. The tiger. This tiger jumped out at me today. Um, looks like a tree, but I'm sure it was a tiger because it scratched me right here. What's this one? Oh! Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> New tree! Mm. Now it was a tree. It was a tree. I just. Yep, and a. Why did you to let, like, to let them cut you in? Oh. So the tiger's like. Isn't that embracing? <laughs> embracing. Look at the stern. Ah! Whoa! Why did you do that for me? <laughs> And now we bring you to Yunlin Huwei to see a meticulous Taiwanese folk art, the glove puppetry. And I can still remember when I was little, I would sit in front of the temple and watch the show all night long. But what surprised me more was actually Chiwi because he saw a figure and pointed at it and he asked me, it's like like Lu Bu. I love Lu Bu. I, I play, I play, Lu Bu is like real powerful with a spear. And... I was like, whoa, how do you know about that? So you can see how alluring this handicraft is. Uh, I haven't seen anything like it before, similar to Shakespeare though, um, as we have uh, theatres that uh, are quite similar towards that type of theatre and puppetry, but I'd say nothing like I've ever seen before. Uh, I'd say I, I really, really enjoyed how fast the transitions were in the puppetry. I loved how um, the characters were so in sync with their bodies and um, I loved the detail, the design of their costumes. For anyone who would come into this, I would recommend it, absolutely. That's what I loved the most about it is we may not know the language, um, we may know it a little bit, but it's, uh, we felt it, like you're connected to an audience and that's what you want from the show, for them to connect to you. Absolutely. And we laughed and when everyone else laughed, we said yes and no when everyone else did, like, who how and how. We could kind of understand the story, yet not at the same time. But just through actions and the tone of the voices that they used, we could like pretty much understand and with your help. We just saw you were all wondering, this is how you made it. 
，食指一个呃，放松的头，头的脖子里面，看它有个洞，然后做一个拍拍手的动作，拍拍手，点点头，啊，对，这样就。So this is to make sure。我们跟人家打招呼的方式就有了。嗯、okay. ，有一种像要跑啊，跑啊。跑啊。So this is yeah, this is like when you see like the tiger. Oh. Oh. All right, you have a task right now. For sure. We'll give you ten minutes. And ten minutes. I'll see you later. So exciting, you know. We had to pick a puppet. We looked at them, observed them, kind of made up a story of it, and then put it improvisation on the spot. <coughs> Hi, are you okay? <coughs> I'm gonna need a pat on the back. So the story was、uh, there was a ho homeless guy, and、um, there was a. Pretty girl that came past. My name is Anthony. Oh, hi. <coughs> My name is Sh 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 Sharon. Sh 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 Sharon. Yeah, yeah. He was like, no, no. He was kind of hesitating. He didn't want to be approached and stuff. And so they kind of negotiated and communicated well and stuff. And、um, they, long story short, found Santa. I need help. I don't know how I'm gonna deliver it before Christmas. And、oh, okay, it's just. Too much. <clears throat>、uh -huh. And I mean, that's all about that Christmas, you know, the spirit of giving and receiving, and you know, loving one another, where we all come together. And that's what you guys did to me, and you guys helped me. You took Santa back to your house.、Um, you, you fed us Kiwi food, New Zealand food, and、um, we enjoyed it. And then you helped me spread the love, you know, spread the aloha to everyone. And that's what Christmas is about. All right, guys, catch you at Burger King. Origalai. <laughs> okay, so we have a little present from Janet. Okay, okay. And let's、hmm. take a look. Let's have a look at it. Hey guys, I hope you are having a wonderful trip so far. Tomorrow is your day off here in Yunlin, which is also really famous for things like the Chao Tien Temple, Shilo Bridge, historical old street, and even Gu Ken Coffee. Now have a great time, spend your money, meet some people, and who knows, maybe you can even let your talents shine. Ooh, Ooh. What does that mean? That sounds like like a plan and an opportunity, man. And that's how we get it done. That's how we get it done. Yeah. What do we do now? Oh my god. Oh. It's our free day. It's our free day, dogs. Hey, Santa. <laughs> What places did I have in mind? I think、uh, coming or ready to explore what was unexpected was something very special. Just the fact that what we experienced today was something authentic compared to like a theme park. You know, theme park is rides. Here we are.、Yeah. I'd say like the people there just felt like you know we felt like welcome. Yeah, 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 yeah. As soon as I walked into the temple, I'd say definitely saw a lot of people,、um, a lot of、um, colors, and、um, just walking in there,、um, I could see a lot of dragons, a lot of instruments playing,、um, instruments that me too we have no idea. And we were. Uh, that we got to be a part of、um, helping the statues pass through, and、um, the smells of all the different incense and、mm. stuff that you know around.、Mm. We did not know what's going on. Obviously, that meant something, but just by action. Hey! Hey! Woo! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> This is awesome! I love it! I love it! I was I was a little、uh, anxious at the start when I was when I was carrying the carriage and、um, I thought you know I'd, I'd drop it but you know they were saying oh something in in, in Taiwanese you know be strong strong you know keep keep so、hey, we're good we're good we're good man yeah we're good we're good and that was like pretty hard for us because we didn't understand but they're just using their head like to to see 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 yeah so we're like,、oh, okay <laughs> and then they're like. Like this, and would go forward, and then they'd be like, "Come back." <laughs> and, and yeah, and it was cool. Like even we're,、um, they were trying to speak to us and you know communicate. Uh, 
uh, we had to carry the carriage into the truck and then help them um, put away the sticks and everything. Mm. And that was nice to be able to give them a hand with, with that. Thank you. I think for me, um, it was it was something that I would say I would take away with um, as as a, as a special treat. All right, guys, are you ready for the next trip? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm looking forward to it. Let's so, do it, bro. We're going to Tainan, and it's the oldest city in Taiwan, and the architectures and the people, and then you know you, you can sense that when when once we arrive. Mm, absolutely. So hop in the car and. I'm driving, yeah. Oh, what are you doing? What do you mean? Let's what do you mean? Are you sure? Just walk, okay? Oh, you can walk. <laughs> no, no problem. I'm all good, cool. Okay. Okay. Driving down south, we arrived in Tainan and went to the Ten Drum Culture Village. It is a place reformed from a sugar mill, and with a lot of its apparatuses preserved, they are blending history and drum art all together. When they play the drums are like absorbs like energy from all those directions. They could be so calm with their movements, but you know, you can feel that energy, tension and everything that they're trying to create like in a story just from drums. So when we learned to play the drums, the first thing that they showed us is the center of the drum. You hit it, the sound goes right through it. Instead of hitting the sides where it just bounces off the wall, it's not as powerful. So we just had to like get used to hitting it into the center. You're louder in it, you're... Like oh, gestures I... are like... Hmm. I'd say it was um, harder because trying to get the center every single time isn't as easy. Sometimes I would drum, drum, and then hit my own sticks, and I'm oh, <laughs> forgive my mate. And I'm like, but I'd still continue. Oh, oh yeah, dang, dang. This is pretty difficult, and I, I, I think to, to the band, this is something simple for them, but it was difficult for me. <laughs> I don't know about you. Uh, that was definitely a challenge. Uh, being able to use my body in a different way that I would never have expected. So I had to like balance like my stance. Okay. I saw you, Anthony, I saw you slowing down. It's like it's sun, right? It's tiring, yeah? Strange that arms a bit. And the majority of the hand is the right hand, so the right hand will be together with the right hand. So how did I have to control the emphasis and the balance of playing the drums was I had to really, really know when my right hand would come in and when my left hand would come in. So I had to do like a cool start. So that was definitely fun. Are we ready? Yeah. Ready! One, two, three, four! It was amazing just to be a part of them. I mean, they're like, you know, a world famous group. They've been nominated for awards and to even get the privilege to play with them, you know, it's a great honor. Good honor. Mm. Thank you! Thank you very much! Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow, this is really such a nice view. Really nice this is, I think, like the highest peak in this area. Actually, there's something happening later with heights. With heights? With really? heights? Any of you scared of heights? Uh, oh. Yeah, I am. Uh oh, uh oh, yeah, not good. Is your heights, I'm lucky. Follow me and I'll make you scream. Okay, then. Oh my god, let's do it. Let's go. 
go, man. Let's do Woo! this. Talk about beers. <laughs> Say something cool. Okay. Are you ready? One, two. Say two. something cool. Say Three. something cool. Something cool. <laughs> something cool. <laughs> <laughs> I conquered my fears. As my mate said, Tom, he told me to uh, say, say something cool. So I was like, something cool! Oh, something cool! <laughs> Helped me uh, conquer my fears when I said something. And um, just made it more easier for me. <laughs> I am ready! Uh, set, go! Woo! <laughs> 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 Alive. We never practiced that. <laughs> oh my god, this is so I don't know why she landed like a spider, but I'm gonna try my best. You go out of Togo. Are you ready? Yep. One, two, three. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you landed perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> Can I do it again? <laughs> <laughs> Someone's playing music, eh? Sounds cool. Yeah. Used to it? Violent, mate. What's it? Bravo! First of all, thank you. This is the original capital of Taiwan. Lots of performances with really traditional instruments. So we just played a couple traditional songs. Uh, we have another song that we'd like to perform before oh, really? we finish. Yes. Okay. Cool. And I don't know if you would like to join us. Sure. Whoa. Sure. Wow, that's sure. random. Yeah, because right. yeah, sure. we have we have quite the sure. audience. We're gonna try to make some money so that we can eat some yummy food because Thailand okay. is famous for food. Right. Okay. Ready? <laughs> It sounded so um, so peaceful and uh, it almost rang a bell to um, if I could remember one of the songs back in New Zealand that I used to listen to a lot. I think it's dun, 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 dun. Oh, it was it was awesome. I would I'd say I'd love to see more of that. Maybe we could just you know us. We could bring something really new to New Zealand. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Give it to me one time. Uh, give it to me two times. Uh, uh, give it to me three times. Uh, uh, We performed our uh, um, traditional war dance like from New Zealand called that haka. We understand that you guys have haka here too, but it's a tribe. Performing in front of a different audience mm. was a little a little intimidating, a little a little wrecking. Yeah. It was nerve wracking. It, it, it felt scary. And I was a bit itchy in some mo some movements when I was about, you know, it's, <laughs> looking at little kids and stuff and I was like <laughs> like at the end of it, I was thinking to myself. I hope I didn't make you cry by the end of the show, but... Yeah, we performed the haka. That, that is something that you have to leave it all when you do it. Everything, like the tiger that scratched my eye, you get that. You just do it all, leave nothing, like, you know, left in you. You have to walk out, like, pretty much in pain. Like, that, that's what it is, but it, it all symbolizes, like, you know, a challenge. Uh, pride, strength, honor, and love for our country. Thank you very much. So we're going to treat 
everybody with this. Yeah, yeah. Get it yeah. on me. Oh, Let's go. Cool. All right. Well, let's go. <laughs> hey, you're back. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Let's go. I'm full. Me and Bye. She's just Representing music in Hunsun is Sishangqi, and the music and melody is just in the air around that area. The singers made a living traveling around and sing, singing about the smallest matters to what maybe only Socrates can solve. They were just like bobs in the west. And this is Anthony and Tui's first encounter with our poetic singer Amaz. Let's see how they react. Hey, hello. Hey, hello. Hey, welcome, uh, when I say like um good morning, Ama, it's like um Gao Za Ama. Gao Za Ama Gao Za Ama yeah So the way that they sing the songs to express different, um, you know, their past life, yeah, it's, it's just amazing that it's pretty much all improvised. A lot of it can be improvised where you can just sing about anything. You can feel free and, you know, just let your emotions run in the moon guitar, yep. Well, the music was very different. It was uh, very unique. Yeah. I had different time signatures and the, what would call it, the tone. It was like undulating, which means it goes up and down and it's so unpredictable. But yeah, it's, it was beautiful, soft. You know, it shows, it shows the story in itself, it shows like generation where there's uh, the grandmas, the armors, and then the new, like, little kids that are, like, you know, being for this traditional, you know, music, poems, and all of that. It's good because it keeps, like, the culture alive, you know? And it was actually, like, heartwarming to see all the kids um, surrounding everyone. Cheers to the new year, guys. And you know, I just drank me. Toast to the last day of your journey. Toast to the last journey it is. I hope everything so far was so good. Yeah. It's been a real, real journey here in Taiwan. Well, you, will you please tell me, um, like, which part is more, the most emotional to you, like, Anthony? For me, I think the most emotional part would be the temple. Being able to have so much fun there and just the excitement. I've never seen so many happy people like that in my life. Like so many people jumping around, colors. Um, such a great symbolism of the word happiness. And you? Um, the, the landscape, the scenery, the people, the culture, the food, everything that we did, you know. Um, Kind of speechless when we're talking about going home, so yeah. not really looking forward to going home. I don't know how that. Okay, so 
to me, it's also, I've never met someone from um, Tonga, and I don't, I didn't know much about the culture, but then uh, we were talking, we were singing, watching like videos of your culture, and then I feel like I learned so much. There's like an exchange between us, mm, yeah. and I love that one. Absolutely, that's awesome. So, at last, there's something more we have to offer, which is, we should say it? The song, well, depends. Like, do you still remember the song we sang with you? Well, here it goes. So, yeah. Take it away, take it away. Mo Maria Ayane I O Ta Ta Uayata Ki Ya Kahara Ta To Ki Ya Nui Ti Aroha Mo Maria, Mo Maria, Ayane, Ayane, O Tato, Wayata, Wayata, Kiakaha, Ratato, Kianuise, Aroha, Piaulea. ピアオレアピアオレアピアオレアピアオレアピアオレアピアオレアピアオレアピアオレアピアオレアピアオレアピアオレアピアオレアピアオレアピアオレアピアオレアピアオレアピアオレアピアオレアピアオレアピアオレ